Good morning, YouTube. Today we're going to talk about American pipe maker Eric Ganey, who I recently bought a pipe from. I'm going to show you the pipe a little bit later in the video, but first I want to talk about the man behind the pipe. I had a chance to talk with Eric over the phone a couple days ago and got a chance to ask him some interesting questions about his work, his work process, and just the things he likes in general. So with that, let's get to it. So although Eric is a morning person, he doesn't really get to the shop and get going until about 10 or 10.30 in the morning. And one of the things he uses to start his day is something we all use, coffee. His favorite type, Dunkin' Donuts. That is good. So before Eric started making pipes, he actually worked in technical support. And when I asked him over the phone, you know, is there any aspect, any quality of his old job, his old profession that he misses, that he just doesn't have now? I think there was a two or maybe three millisecond pause before he said, no, not even close. So it looks like he found the right profession. When I asked Eric who his mentors were, both back in the early days as well as more recently, he said that Mark Balkovic definitely helped him get off the ground, um, helped him kind of warn the ropes. And then over the last year or so, um, he's really done a lot of brainstorming and a lot of troubleshooting with Grant Batson. So Eric's shop is actually attached to his garage, which is air conditioned, which you need down in southern Georgia because it gets pretty hot. And when I asked him, does he prefer to work with silence or does he like a soundtrack playing in the background? He actually said he needs a soundtrack. He doesn't really work well with silence. And he likes long playback times, songs six, seven, eight minutes in length. So he likes classic rock and he likes blues. And within blues, he really likes Stevie Ray Vaughan. Uh, that's one of his favorites. So let's talk about tobacco and the hobby. Right now I'm smoking some Cornell & Deals Exhaustor Rooster. It's one of my favorite blends. When I asked Eric what was one of his favorite blends, he said Peter Heinrich's Dark Strong Flake would be at the top of his list. And when I asked him why, what does he really like about that blend, he said his, his taste in pipe tobaccos are actually very similar to his taste in cigars. He likes the dark, bold, rich, chocolatey flavors. And the reason he likes them is because, above and beyond everything else, he said he really likes to know that he's smoking something. He likes something to be potent. And with that, I have to agree. All right, so now I'm gonna take you indoors where we're gonna do the technical portion and we're gonna get real up close and personal. I'm gonna tell you all the specific things I love about this pipe. So most anyone who's ever held an Eric Ganey pipe will probably notice two things about it. Number one is the attention to detail, the flawless transition in all the seams. It kind of reminds me of one of those early 1990s Lexus commercials where they have the marble rolling down the seams of the car. Now that's kind of an exaggeration, uh, but that's the image that this pipe gives me. The second thing you'll probably notice is the synergy and the complementary colors here. This one in particular, it reminds me of a three-layered cocktail, the kind that separates in the glass from top to bottom. This color combination looks like cocoa, leather, and cream all mixed together. It's very nice. So when I was talking with Eric, it quickly became apparent that he's very meticulous, especially when it comes down to the last few minutes in the finishing process. And in his own words, he, you know, he did admit to being a little OCD. And in this plateau top, that really shows. Uh, the symmetry here is impressive from all different angles. This is my very first pipe. And I keep it around because it's still a great smoker. Eric's first pipe was a mastercraft. He got it a long time ago, and he still has it today. Although he doesn't smoke it very often, he keeps it around because, well, because it has a lot of sentimental value. One of the last questions I asked Eric was, when he gets a chance to sit back and relax and enjoy a good pipe, what's one of his favorite beers to drink with it? And his answer kind of surprised me. It's one of these beers that I haven't had a lot of experience with. So I went out and bought one. It's sour beer. And although it is an acquired taste, you do get used to it after a while. All right, I think that's it for tonight, guys. I'm gonna sit back, relax, enjoy my new sour beer, and pack up my new Ganey pipe. If you don't have an artisan pipe yet, you may want to consider getting one. It's a great way to enjoy the hobby. Well, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Y'all have a good one.